take her shopping's good. Um, no, the wall, the shelf was the wall. Hold on. The wall was not remodeled to fit the shelf. It just, I measured it and got a shelf that fits perfectly. What if I want to wear panties? Then what then? Well, then you get panties for yourself. Um, I don't think I'm going to TwitchCon. I think I will definitely, I think most definitely I'm going to Twitch, going to Las Vegas, but I don't think I'm going to TwitchCon. Hey, Lily. I don't even know, to be honest, like I'd be very curious to see if like Twitch would allow me in their building. <laughs> right? Like they might be like, oh, like making me walk around with like safety guards around me. They're like, watch out for this step. You could fall and die. <laughs> uh, yeah, prodigal. So I'll be in Vegas at the same time. As long as you don't do any more activities. Exactly. <laughs> they do put me in a bubble. That would be fun. Somehow I like break my back inside of a bubble. You got to laugh about it, man. You got to laugh about it. You have got to laugh about it. Okay, I'm gonna order wings. Cause that's what I'm craving. I'm just that. Freaky fellow, thank you for the sub. When is Vegas TwitchCon? So it's October. Da, da, da. What October is it? Hold on. Googling it. I'm Googling it. Wait, there's more than one October. <laughs> hold on, hold on. My phone's gonna die. That toe touch you did to the pit was impressive though. Thank you, X cheerleader. X cheerleader. Okay, twitch on. Oh, that's Paris. October 20th to the 22nd. Am I going to have a baby in the future? Mm, I don't know yet. But that's for me to know. And you not. Prodigal, 100%. It's definitely, definitely, I think breaking my back has taught me a lot of patience and it's also taught me a lot of kindness for myself. Something I didn't have for myself was empathy. Um, I was never, never gracious or easy or gentle on myself. Um, so my back injury has taught me patience and taught me a lot of that. And then also, given me the time to go to therapy and try and work through all the traumatic experiences I've had in life. So it's also given me control over my body, something I didn't have before. I don't know if you guys noticed too, just in the past two, week, two weeks alone, I've completely cut down my adult conversation on this stream. Like even when I'm just generally talking, I'd be like, oh, blah, blah, blah. And I'd talk about blowjobs or sex myself. That was like a response. So I have literally myself without being prompted started to desexualize myself and be Desiree and realize that there are two people that can exist at the same time. And I, I also don't have to act a certain way. 
So that's been so nice. It's been really nice, actually. Being kind to yourself is being kind to someone who needs it most. That's so true. I love that. Proud of you. It's part of your you, obviously, but it's not all of you, Desert do. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, and learning boundaries. Like something I something I, I learned that I didn't realize that I was. Um, like uh, I don't know if you guys have ever heard of like when you go through trauma, you tend to react in a few different ways. One of them is called the fawning technique, the fawning reaction. So like a deer and a fawn. So like when I'm in uncomfortable situations, I tend to just uh, get kinder or say things like that end up making me feel worse, but I hope it's like in reaction to not upset the other person. Um, so I've recently started to notice that and through therapy, we were talking about how people project a lot onto me and I take their projections. Um, like, to be honest, like if I go to a meet and greet and some guy's like grabbing my ass, like I don't want that. And in my head, I'm like screaming and I'm actually upset, right? That they didn't even think to ask and they're just like using my me. But and and now I will say like, hey, this is inappropriate. Before the situation ever arises, I put in boundaries to like stop that from happening. Like the next conventions I go to, you'll talk to my security that'll tell you you're not allowed to touch. Only she can choose to touch you around the waist for photos if she wants to stop these things from happening. But now I realize like to where when people do that, if somebody were to like touch my ass, I'd be like, oh, it's OK, blah, 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 sexualize me. And then like I'm like play into it and lean into it. So I was taking their projections as my own identity and it's like not the best way to live. <laughs> I do that a lot. That's something I'm working towards. Tea clean TV, yes. A lot of people do projections. And like you said before, you're being assertive, not being bitchy. Exactly. Exactly. My guess this has been a thing for you for a long time. Yeah, I grew up. Like, that's the thing. Like, my life led me into porn, and I'm thankful for it. Um, and I've loved what I've created from it. But I went into this industry because I was conditioned that this was okay. And I was conditioned and desensitized to sexual activities since a child. So it didn't even think, I didn't even think it was a big deal, right? So then when other people started to use my body and claim it, I never even thought it was a big deal because I thought I was just being like what people wanted. And now I've started to see like, oh shit, this is not what I want, <laughs> right? I don't have to betray that back backstory or my past, but I do now understand that I have been desensitized so much from sexual situations that it is not 